So in this video we are going to see about the velocity triangle of a Pelton wheel. Okay, this is the diagram. How to draw the velocity triangle? This is the jet of water which is coming with the velocity v1 and the vein is also moving with the velocity u. So your relative velocity will be vr1. Okay, v1's horizontal component is vw1. As there is no inclination that is alpha is equal to 0 and uh, theta is equal to 0 vf2 is equal to 0 vf1 is equal to 0 okay so here the after striking the after striking the vein the water is coming out with a velocity vr2 that is the jet is deflected to an angle of deflected by an angle of 180 minus phi okay uh, deflects the jet by 180 minus phi so this angle will be phi and the vein is also moving it is u2 so v v r2 is the relative velocity at the outlet so with this we can find out what is v r2 is the relative velocity this is your absolute velocity at the outlet absolute velocity is vertical component is v f2 and its horizontal component is v w2 okay so here uh, if the vein is very smooth we can take v r1 is equal to v r2 relative velocity at the inlet is equal to relative velocity at the outlet and the vein velocity is v u1 is equal to u2 so v r1 is equal to how how can we get the v r1 v1 minus u1 okay and again v1 is equal to v w1 so you can write it as v w1 minus u1 here alpha is equal to 0 and theta is equal to 0 this you have to keep it in mind okay so in some problem they will give you they can give like this all the thing represents phi or 180 minus phi how can we how they will give us bucket deflects the jet through an angle that is nothing but 180 minus phi this angle bucket deflects the jet through an angle if they are giving like that means it is 160 that is 180 minus phi this is they have given so from that you have to find out what is phi value okay so side clearance angle if they are giving if they are mentioning or if it is in the problem as side clearance angle blade angle at the outlet then it is then it is only phi okay bucket deflects the jet through an angle it means 180 minus phi side clearance angle at the outlet blade angle at the outlet if they are giving like that means it represents phi value so now we are going to derive the uh, equation for the work done okay for the Pelton wheel. So here we know that V R1 is equal to U, V1 minus U1. Is it V R1 is equal to V1 minus U1. Okay. So here what is the formula? What is our force formula? We are applying impulse momentum equation principle here. So force acting should be equal to the rate of change of momentum. So rate of change of momentum is nothing but rho Q mass rate of flow into change in velocity. What is that? Initial velocity is V R1 and final velocity is V R2. But it is in the opposite direction. We have to resolve in the uh, direction of jet. That's why V R2 cos 5. So V R1 minus of minus V R2 cos 5. Okay, the water is striking the vein with a velocity V R1. That's why we have taken v r1 so rho q into v r1 minus uh, as in the outlet is it is in the opposite direction we we put it as minus v r2 cos phi what is v r2 cos phi v r2 cos phi is nothing but u2 plus v w2 okay so v1 minus u1 plus u2 plus v w2 finally you will get rho q into v w1 plus v w2 here what is q q is nothing but area into velocity okay area into velocity means so q is equal to area into velocity here we might have some confusion we'll get some confusion which v we have to put either v1 or v r1 is it okay so here this is the velocity of water striking the wave we are in need to find out the discharge discharge means the amount of water which is coming out from the nozzle so at that time you have to put v1 okay area into velocity so fx is equal to rho a v1 into vw1 plus vw2 okay 
So work done will be uh, fx into u. So you will get one answer. What will be the power? The same thing. What will be work done per second divided by weight of water striking? Weight is nothing but mass into acceleration m into g. m is nothing but rho a into v1. So you will get one formula. What is the hydraulic efficiency? Hydraulic efficiency is nothing but work done divided by second divided by kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is half mv square. So half m is nothing but rho a v1. So after substituting that also you will get one equation eta h. Okay, work done divided by second sec, per second divided by kinetic energy of jet. You are, we are getting this equation 2 into v w1 plus v w2 divided by v1 square into u. This is also okay. But if you want to convert this v1, v w1 and v w2 in terms of v1 means uh, already we know the relation v w1 is equal to v1, v r1 and so and so. After substituting this, you are getting this equation. When the efficiency will be maximum? For that, we are differentiating this eta h with respect to u. So, do d by du into eta h is equal to 0. So, in here also we are getting the equation velocity of wheel is equal to velocity of jet, half of velocity velocity of jet. This, see, this, is, this condition already we have studied in the series of vein. Have you remember that? This is a wheel and this is a vein, series of vein. In that derivation also, in the impact of jet also, we have seen this derivation. There also we arrived this condition. When the velocity of wheel is half of the velocity of jet, you will get the maximum efficiency. The same thing here also u is equal to v1 divided by 2. Okay. That is velocity of wheel is equal to half the velocity of jet of water at the inlet. When substituting this, you will get 1 plus cos phi divided by 2. Okay. So, already we know the formula uh, eta h is equal to runner power divided by water power. We can also use this also. It depends. If they are giving, if we know, uh, if we want to, want to find out the maximum uh, hydraulic efficiency is simply you can use this formula for finding or if they have given water power and they ask us to find out what is the hydraulic efficiency means you have to use this formula okay runner power divided by water power we know the runner power we don't know we know the water power so this is the formula okay or if you want to find out with respect to head also we can easily find out what is the hydraulic efficiency what is that total head at the inlet minus hydraulic loss divided by head at the inlet with that also you can easily find out what is the hydraulic efficiency so you have to uh, check the problem what is given in that problem if they ask you to find out the hydraulic efficiency according to that you have to choose the equations okay so the next is in some problem they will ask you to design the belt and wheel so in that condition we have to uh, keep it in mind the seven points we have to keep the seven points in mind with that you have to design the belt and wheel so what are they what are the velocity of jet at inlet v1 is equal to you have to use this formula for finding v1 they, they will be giving the head okay uh, design a belt and wheel okay they, the question may be like this design a belt and wheel uh, belt and wheel for a head of 200 meter so in that you have uh, first you have to find out what is the velocity of jet so using they have given the head you have to assume the coefficient of velocity that ranges from 0 0.98 to 0.9 and you have to pick any value and you have to substitute it hit, uh, here and you can easily find out what is w v1 okay velocity of wheel is nothing but u is equal to phi into root of 2 gh so head will be given phi you have to select it from this range 0 0.43 to 0 0.48 you have to pick any value assume any value in between these two values and you can easily find out what is u angle of deflection is 165 degree this is general if it is given you have to take that value if it is not given you have to assume this value 165 degree okay mean diameter of the pelton wheel is equal to u is equal to pi dn by 60 already you by using this formula we have found out what is u substitute it here and you can find out what is d diameter okay jet ratio m is equal to d by d capital d divided by small d 
number of buckets you have to use it by using this formula number of jet total rate of flow divided by rate of flow of water through a single jet so you have to keep it in mind this keep it in mind the seven points while designing the pelton wheel okay